Hello everyone! How are you? I hope you're all doing great. Today I will be trying something different. Okay, next week I will be going to Sweden uh, for the first time ever uh, to see one of my favorite uh, bands live, uh, Hardcore Superstar. I will be in uh, Stockholm and uh, visiting uh, the country and the city for the very very first time so I'm very excited about it and I thought of sitting uh, here with you and talking a bit about the band but in the meantime uh, trying to figure out uh, what makeup look I will be wearing at their concert I'm really excited uh, about uh, that one uh, so I thought of doing something different and um, not having uh, a video of uh, me just talking to you I hope this works out. If it doesn't, you'll never see it, so no problem uh, there, right? Okay, before we begin, I would like uh, to show you my t-shirt because I really, really like it and uh, I hope you will like it too. I believe you will. Can we see? How cool is that? Yeah, it's a hardcore superstar. I love that one. Uh, this one, uh, sorry. And I got it at uh, their last uh, concert I was uh, here in uh, Belgium. Yes, I love the band. So, uh, let's begin. Let's uh, try and do this. Okay, uh, let me start uh, with uh, my face in the eyes. I, of course, have some uh, makeup on uh, to look uh, somewhat uh, decent. And um, I will take my Makeup Revolution palette uh, to do my base. In any case, uh, Hardcore Superstar, are you guys familiar with the band? I believe you are, because uh, they rock, uh, they are amazing. And uh, they have been successful for so many years. But uh, for those of you who are not familiar with the band, let me introduce you to the guys, just like I did with uh, my previous one. Okay, uh, we have uh, four uh, gentlemen, four very talented uh, gentlemen uh, from uh, Sweden. I believe they are from uh, Gothenburg. If not from Gothenburg, from a smaller uh, city or uh, uh, village next to it. Yes, uh, but yes, uh, four uh, talented uh, gentlemen uh, from uh, Gothenburg, uh, Sweden. They have been around for almost uh, 20 years right now, if I am not mistaken. Yes, uh, I believe it's almost uh, 20 years. Um, they started around 1998. Uh, yes, I think so. Anyway, they have been around for a long time. And um, we have Jelke on uh, lead vocals, uh, Vic Zino on uh, guitar, uh, Martin uh, on uh, the bass and uh, Ade on the drums uh, and um, I want to talk, yes, about uh, their style, their musical style because it's uh, something uh, different um, than uh, most bands out there and it's uh, something I appreciate about the band's uh, sound it's um, what uh, they call themselves um, street metal. So, what is street metal, you will ask? And uh, I was wondering uh, the same thing the first time I heard uh, Jokje mentioning, uh, in, uh, mentioning it in one uh, of his uh, interviews. By the way, I'm grabbing uh, two of my favorite uh, Ice Arrow uh, palettes. Yes, uh, from Sleek, it's uh, the Vintage Romance one and, I believe you have seen this before, and uh, the Also Spatial. I love these uh, two palettes. Beautiful colors, right? Beautiful color scheme. Yes, and I'm trying, I forgot to tell you, I'm going for that uh, smoky eye look. I hope... Uh, uh, to create it, to be able to create it, yeah, the smoky eye look um, that uh, you see Jorge having uh, in uh, his uh, live uh, uh, concerts and um, some of the photo suits, of course. Um, hardcore superstar uh, fans out there will understand what I'm talking about. But of course, Jorge has uh, those beautiful eyes uh, to match it with and uh, make it uh, look uh, even better. But I will try to do something like that, I'm thinking, in any case. Oh. I'm sorry, 
hair. <laughs> anyway, in any case, back to the music, uh, street metal. Yes, I, you're probably wondering what uh, is street metal. I was wondering the same when I first uh, heard uh, uh, Yoke talk about it in uh, one of their interviews. I believe uh, it's uh, what uh, they call uh, the marriage, uh, marriage of uh, two uh, music styles, uh, thrash metal and uh, uh, sleaze rock. Um, Sweden uh, is known for having uh, sleaze uh, rock uh, bands uh, coming out. So yes, uh, hardcore superstar plays uh, street metal. Um, for sure, it's uh, great, it's powerful, it's hard rock and uh, you can see there uh, the bands... Uh, uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong now. Uh, you can see there uh, the bands uh, powerful uh, presence uh, in their concerts. I don't know if you've uh, been uh, to one of Hardcore Superstars uh, concerts before, but so much energy, um, so much uh, passion and uh, heart and soul uh, that uh, they put into their playing and into their every performance. So, yes, uh, you can uh, rock out definitely to be honest, because uh, I am uh, a glamour, a glam rocker for life, uh, Hardcore Superstar is one of the heavier bands uh, I listen to, but uh, I love it because uh, they have uh, their unique sound and uh, they are something totally different, uh, you don't have it out there and uh, I believe it's one of the reasons why the band uh, is uh, so successful and has uh, stayed uh, on the top for so many years. They have released, speaking uh, of their music, uh, trying to remember, they have released uh, so far uh, 10 albums, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yes, 10. And uh, they are about to release uh, their uh, 11th one, which I'm really looking uh, forward to, uh, because uh, it has been a while since uh, their last uh, release, and uh, and uh, they have been working on that one and from what i heard so far it sounds so 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 promising and i'm sure it's going to be a great one because uh, every album uh, hardcore superstar has uh, ever released uh, so far it's great it's great it's um Different from the last one, but still they keep uh, their uh, unique uh, uh, trait right there. Sorry, just putting some eyeshadow down, trying to blend. Yes, uh, they, they have their unique trait there and uh, every album is so good, it's so good. And uh, I have heard some complaints uh, so far, you know, read some comments uh, throughout in the internet about uh, the latest uh, single, uh, Bring the House Down, which I absolutely love. And uh, some hardcore, uh, hardcore, hardcore superstar fans uh, have complained uh, about uh, a shift in their sound. But I, I am thinking, okay, every album um, has a, a different, uh, um, sorry, every album has a different touch to it, but uh, as I said, uh, the hardcore superstar element is there, and uh, I keep wondering why fans are complaining, because uh, they are a band that uh, have released uh, so many albums so far, because uh, it's a lot, guys, it's a lot, and uh, to me, to be honest, uh, they manage to have a great one every time. So uh, take a moment there and uh, try to think about another band that has uh, so many albums and every single one of them is good. How is this possible? How do they do it? Uh, it's one of the reasons why I love them. They always deliver and they will bring you something, uh, not uh, just to have something out there, but they will bring you something great to listen to and every album is really good so when they are complaining the fans uh, i'm wondering how many bands uh, uh, are out there like hardcore superstars so good and uh, at what they do and they don't let their fans down i don't know in any case yes the new album is going to be called um, you can't kill my rock and roll 
and uh, I hear rumors about it being released uh, in uh, September of 2018, something like that. I don't know, I am not sure. All I know is uh, I am really looking forward to it because what I've heard so far from uh, that, uh, that album, it's uh, amazing, I love it. And it sounds uh, so promising and I'm sure it will be a great one uh, because it's Hardcore Superstar we're talking about. They never have a bad album, uh, according to me. Yes, and uh, first uh, single from that one, Have Mercy On Me. Oh my god, so, so very catchy, so very catchy. I love that one. Can you see what I'm doing, by the way? I'm putting a bit of uh, dark purple over here and uh, a bit of a uh, dark uh, blue you will see the end result i hope it uh, is a, a good one yes uh, have mercy on me so so very catchy bring the house down the same and and uh, uh, just um, a few days ago yes uh, i've uh, listened uh, to their latest one in a youtube video that is uh, recorded uh, by a fan and uh, the song is called uh, Electric Rider and oh my god guys I can tell you that it's uh, so good uh, so promising and uh, Vic's solo on that one can we please take a moment and appreciate that Vic is an amazing uh, guitarist very talented and uh, skilled and he has um, this uh, unique uh, stage uh, presence uh, so I'm always um, oh sorry about the noise I don't know what that was I am uh, always uh, looking forward uh, to their uh, to sorry to his uh, guitar solos uh, in the videos uh, in the videos in the albums <laughs> excuse me and their songs and uh, with that one I was like, whoa, Vic, you did it again. It's great, it's great. I just can't get it out of my head and it's a live version. So I'm really looking forward to the studio one because I'm sure it's going to be great, amazing. And speaking of uh, live uh, vs uh, the studio version, I have to tell you, uh, another reason I really like uh, the guys, uh, it's uh, because uh, to me, uh, they are this band uh, that has blind, some uh, lighter shade here, so I can blend it in all together. Uh, they are this band that has um, this uh, unique ability to me uh, to go to one of their shows and uh, play some songs and sound uh, better than they do uh, in the studio version. Can you believe it? I don't know, has this happened to you before? Uh, it happens uh, with me, just with Hardcore Superstar, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think they are the only band that have this. Uh, so when I go to their concerts and uh, listen to some songs, I can't believe uh, they are uh, even better than the... The live version is even better than the studio one. Uh, they perform it so well and... Uh, I'm overwhelmed by emotions uh, um, when uh, they play those songs uh, because uh, let me tell you, uh, Yoke's voice uh, is uh, one of my favorite male voices of all time and uh, it speaks to my soul so I get tears when uh, he, perf he performs uh, live uh, sometimes I even get tears when I watch a live video of his uh, on YouTube and it's a slower one because, uh, yes, his voice uh, speaks to my soul and it's uh, so powerful and uh, you can tell uh, he puts his heart and soul into his every performance. So I get emotional, uh, yes. And I remember the first time I saw Hardcore Superstar, it was uh, uh, back in uh, 2011 when they were uh, touring with... Um, Looking at, yes, that's the first. When they were touring uh, with um, what was uh, Crash Diet and uh, the Six Nine Eyes, yay, Scandinavia Uni United, and I listened to them uh, for the first time, uh, and uh, not I have listened to them before because uh, my sister loves them. Uh, they are one of her all-time favorite bands, and uh, she's been listening to them uh, for years. 
but um, uh, I started listening to them more since I saw them live because I was captivated, I was uh, mind blown uh, because uh, sorry due to the so they delivered and yeah they go on stage I will never forget it and uh, I remember. Um, Watching uh, Yoke having uh, this uh, performance of uh, Run to Your Mama, which, uh, by the way, I love. Yes, in case you haven't uh, gathered by now, I love. Uh... Oh, sorry. Oh, I love. <laughs> in myself. Sorry. Uh, I love uh, slower uh, songs and ballads. So. He performed Run to Your Mama and uh, I remember the moment was so magical. I, everybody was uh, quiet and silent and then you have Yoke with Vic standing next to him uh, with a, a guitar. Just um, the two of them, uh, uh, the focus pin and the two of them and uh, uh, the lights uh, were lower and then you have Yoke singing with all this passion and all this soul and uh, his whole being, uh, that's how I felt uh, and performing this song around your mama and uh, it's um, really not uh, powerful uh, in the meaning of the sound because it's a violent but uh, regarding uh, the message it has so yes I was just, I remember just standing there looking at uh, him mesmerized and uh, such a cliche because I told you his voice uh, gets to me, speaks to my soul. I started uh, having uh, watery eyes and before I realized, realized it uh, I was uh, crying. Yes, that's uh, yeah, okay. That's uh, how good he is and uh, what, uh, how an, an amazing uh, performer and artist he is. But yes, I, I also like um, uh, other songs. Uh, Run to Your Mama is uh, one of them um, that I, I like and I prefer uh, to listen to live because to me it's better than the studio version. Unbelievable, I know, but uh, it's true. And um, Dear Old Fame old song but I love that one too it's uh, to me it's better uh, live than uh, the studio version and okay grabbing a bit of uh, black here to put it oh it's so pigmented and <laughs> look guys oh my god I was planning on yeah 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 yes here put it here see so we can achieve that smoky smoky uh, look Oh, we are talking about that yoga has in the photo shoots and the concerts. Yes, uh, dear old fame, old one, but I love it. Uh, I like uh, listening to the um, live version a lot. And then we have a uh, long time no see. Long time no see. Oh my god. Again, there is a live uh, performance uh, on YouTube, I believe it's from Dublin or Belfast. I cannot watch this one without crying. Again, amazing. But I have to tell you that I also like uh, Last Call for Alcohol uh, live because they have a lot of fun while they perform it and they bring, uh, sometimes bring uh, fans on stage and they have this interaction with the audience, the amazing interaction with the audience and uh, yes, I love that, I love that. Uh, you go to the concert and you don't know, maybe you will be on stage uh, with your favorite uh, artist. It's a bit of a mess they look, oh, but we'll roll with it, it's okay. At least it has that uh, smoky vibe that uh, I was going for. <laughs> we'll see how it goes anyway yes uh, so you may have uh, 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 you may sorry join your favorite uh, 
artist on stage when you go there and I like it more live because uh, you can tell that even the guys from Hardcore Superstar they enjoy it uh, while they play it and um, it's great, it's great uh, to see it uh, uh, fans have a great time uh, the band has a great time and uh, we're all pleased, yes, thank you and so Luke is not going uh, so well so far uh, yeah, if uh, uh, you haven't been to one of their concerts, uh, you should uh, definitely catch them in the next one. Uh, they are amazing, amazing. Uh, you have to experience it in person, uh, there is nothing uh, more to tell you uh, on that. Uh, and speaking of uh, fans and uh, how the guys interact with them, I have to tell you, that's Another reason uh, I love this band uh, and it's uh, so dear to me because uh, you will always see them taking their time uh, with the fans and uh, with their fans. Uh, they will, after uh, the concert, they will uh, wait and uh, sign whatever you have and uh, you want uh, signing, whatever you have with you and you want signing and uh, they will talk to you, they will listen to you, um, they will uh, really listen to you. They will not just stand there being polite and they don't uh, pull uh, PR tricks. Uh, in my experience, they respect their fans, they love them, and they have great interaction and they take their time uh, with fans, uh, which is great for any band, but unfortunately not so many fans uh, do it nowadays. And uh, it's a pity. So I have to give it that. I have to give that to Hardcore Superstar. Uh, even that uh, they are amazing with their fans and uh, they appreciate them. You can tell, and that's why we love them. Uh, the Hardcore Superstar fans uh, love uh, the band. Okay. Now I'm going to the lower last line. I'm trying to put in a bit of that blue. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, it has that smoked out effect effect. I'm pleased. I hope you can tell guys. I don't know if it shows on camera. But it's really beautiful. This color. Yes. Yeah, because uh, again, in uh, Yoke's smoky eye look, uh, he has uh, uh, the smoked uh, out eyes. Uh, yeah, and down here, so that's what I'm trying to do, and I will go with the black one behind. Yes, uh, oh, I have my notes here. Yeah, and um, one more thing I would like uh, to mention about the guys, because I was uh, lucky enough uh, uh, to meet them in the, the concert, for the very first time in the concert, uh, the gang concert, uh, which... Uh, by the way, it was uh, held in a very interesting uh, venue. Aaron was lucky enough to be there. Uh, we'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, and uh, even the guys, uh, I believe uh, even the guys, the artists, uh, remember uh, that one. Uh, yeah, very interesting venue. So I had the chance uh, to meet them for the first time and talk to them a bit. and. All I can tell you guys uh, is uh, that uh, they are, oh, how does it go? <laughs> it doesn't show on camera very well, but uh, it's okay. It's okay, I will uh, fix it, don't worry. Uh, yes, all I can tell you guys is uh, that they are really nice, hilarious, uh, they have a great sense of humor, Vic's uh, sense of humor is uh, legendary, I was laughing uh, so, so much and uh, Yogi is very funny to Ade as well and Martin who is uh, the quiet, quieter one usually, he was very polite and very nice and uh, funny as well, so yes, I feel uh, compelled to tell you this, uh, that they are nice guys uh, because um, uh, artists that are uh, so successful and are still uh, down to earth and uh, approachable and appreciate their fans, uh, they need uh, to be given a shout out. So yes, I have to tell you that they're really nice guys as well, other than great musicians. 
Okay, I, I believe I have created quite of a mess with this one. But, don't know, can you tell? It looks a bit messy and I'll uh, try to uh, fix it a bit, uh, the details uh, here. It looks messy but it looks uh, smoky as well, doesn't it? Uh, let me find the one. For yeah. I will go with this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me try this one maybe for the inner corner. It's a lighter pink shade because you, I don't know if you can tell, but I have some pink going on here. And for the brown one, I will take a silver one. Oh, gentlemen, if you're watching this. Not Hardcore Superstar. Uh, I hope Hardcore Superstar never watches this. Uh, you would be so embarrassed. Uh, but uh, other uh, Tendama music lovers out there who watch this, I'm really sorry. I just thought of trying something different uh, for this one. And uh, it's not a bit. Uh, yes. Let's see. Okay. I think I'm done for the moment. A bit more blending. Maybe in here. I will fix it, of course. No. I hope it turns out uh, better at uh, the concert. Oh. But it's pretty decent, although uh, you can't uh, tell. Uh, uh, wait. The fallout. Okay. So, what's left? Ah! Yes, of course. Some bronzing. Let me do some bronzing because Hardcore Superstar guys uh, have some killer cheekbones, so why not? Why not try to carve out uh, mine as well? And uh, go with the spirit. Oh, of course, Physician's Formula. Favorite, the favorite uh, bronzer go to. I love this one. Let's carve those cheekbones out. Yeah, I do this sometimes, uh, guys, not most of the times. Uh, I go along with the theme uh, of the concert, or that's how I have it in my head. And uh, for example, now I told you, oh, Hardcore Superstar uh, has, uh, Hardcore Superstar guys uh, have some killer cheekbones, so let's carve the cheekbones out. Uh, why not? I get inspired. I know it sounds weird, but that's how it works uh, in my head. I get inspired. Now, uh, some uh, blush, uh, my favorite essence one. Uh, the Satin Love. I love this one. It's uh, very natural. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to work. Uh, fast here so you're not bored because in case uh, you didn't notice up until now I'm still struggling uh, with uh, my editing uh, uh, skills process it's killing me so yeah trying to make a uh, few uh, um, mistakes if possible while recording so I'm grabbing my new highlighter, I love, I love, everyone is raving, uh, raving, <laughs> what? sorry guys, everyone is raving about it and for a good reason, it's the Maybelline uh, Master Chrome in the rose gold, since I got it, I cannot put it down, uh, it's uh, the one I'm using all the time, so, yeah, some highlighter, you, you can, ah, it picks on camera, good, so you can tell. Sorry about the ear situation there, guys. What can you do? I love this one, I cannot put it down. A bit more, why not? See, you see? It's beautiful. Yeah. 
Last time I saw a very beautiful lady in a Hardcore Superstars uh, concert and she was uh, glowing, glowing, really. Uh, she had a very blinding highlight and I was wondering wh what is this one, what is this one? But uh, I was um, not planning on asking her because I thought uh, that would be rude, right? Hey, uh, what's your highlight? I love it. And again, going back with my sleek... Uh, Palette uh, highlighting palette because they're blinding and putting a bit more just to finish uh, the look. Ah, yes, you see, yeah, these ones are blinding. I believe we are done with highlighter. Yes. We are good to go, and last step, to lock it all in place, my favorite, trusted Scandinavia, one setting spray, uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, makeup look turned out to be pretty decent, uh, given the fact I was talking uh, throughout uh, applying it. Uh, so before I let you go guys, uh, I would like uh, to tell you that uh, you should definitely, definitely check out the uh, Hardcore Superstar, um, the Swedish uh, band if you haven't already, they are amazing, oh my god, uh, they are um, <clears throat> one of a kind and uh, they always deliver and you will not be disappointed for sure, uh, it is a band that uh, has stood the taste of time, uh, even if um, They've been around uh, for uh, just uh, 20 years uh, because some people would consider that uh, not a long time. But yes, they have stood uh, the test of time and uh, uh, will keep on uh, giving us uh, great tunes. And uh, uh, I have uh, to say that uh, throughout the years I've uh, grown uh, not only to love uh, but to respect uh, the guys as well uh, because uh, they are. Uh, musicians uh, solely focused on their work they are not distracted of course they have uh, the necessary fun but uh, they are serious uh, musicians and uh, concentrated at what they are doing and uh, i appreciate that and i respect that and the way they carry themselves uh, because um, you cannot find uh, gossip uh, on uh, their private life and i appreciate that they they keep uh, their uh, life private, private one, and uh, they give us uh, the best uh, of their work, and uh, they focus solely on that. Uh, I respect the guys, right? so the way they carry themselves, uh, and I love them, and of course I am really, really looking forward to seeing them uh, next week in uh, Stockholm, Sweden, and uh, seeing uh, the city. It's the first time, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, and uh, I am so, so excited. I couldn't be happier. And uh, if um, I manage to get a picture with the guys, and uh, if uh, I have figured out uh, by that time uh, how to edit properly, I will uh, put it somewhere right here or right here, so you can see it, guys, and tell me what you think, because uh, I would love uh, to see the guys, uh, meet them again, and uh, give them a hug, uh, and tell them uh, how much I love them again <laughs> in any case i hope you enjoyed this video it was a different one and if you liked it uh, maybe i can try it some other time because uh, you know there are festivals coming festival season is ahead and uh, it would be nice to try some makeup looks uh, there and uh, talk about the bands i will be seeing uh, hopefully Yes, and uh, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you managed to stay until the end, uh, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, I appreciate uh, uh, every single time um, you're uh, spending some of your time with me. And uh, go check Hardcore Superstar out if you haven't already. They are amazing. And uh, if you have, tell me down below what it is uh, you like the most about, about the band. Uh, 
Uh, yes, uh, who is your favorite favorite uh, band member? Although they are all uh, very nice uh, and great musicians and very talented. Yes, let me know. Uh, what is your favorite album? Uh, uh, do you like the new uh, one so far from what we've heard? Yes, let me know. Talk to me. I love it. And thank you so much uh, for sticking around. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye!